Here's a quick tutorial that's going to show you how to make a truss from scratch using the beam tool. Uh, and it's pretty easy really, so we're going to have a quick uh, look here. And you'll notice I took a screenshot of uh, one of uh, our users' uh, images that they sent us. And I'm just going to drag and drop that image, and I'm going to put it into SketchUp and place it here. Right Now I have an image in there, I can scale it. Now I don't actually have a measurement on this particular file that I think I can get from end to end, but I'm just going to surmise that the distance between here and here is six meters. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab the tape measure tool and I'm going to type in the measurement from here to here as six meters. Okay. All right, so now I've got an image in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the beam tool and I'm going to basically trace around the edges. Then I'm going to draw my webs in and I'm going to use uh, several different functions in the beam tool that are, that are cool and make things happen really quickly. Okay, so we're going to do first things first is going to go to the, the beam tool and we're going to choose what it's made out of. It could be steel, it could be LVL. I'm just going to use um, uh, this material, 90 by 45. It's a guess, I don't really know it. Now, how do you choose which way you want to go? Well, you'll notice if I went left, I could push insert and I could do that, but there's no difference whether I go up here or I go across. So I'm just going to basically type in the material. Now if I want to flip this plate, if I went to here, I just click that and it will stick it the other way. I'm not sure exactly which way this truss goes because I've never actually built it. Zooming in is the key. Now you notice I want to zoom over to the right, so I'm zooming out from the left. And I'm going to go to here and I'm basically going to try and find my starting point there. Okay. And you can see that I actually have kind of created that truss there, but I actually need to um, go through and mitre it. So if I actually select both here and go right click and mitre, I can do that. But you know what I'm going to do first? I'm actually just going to go through while I'm here and I'm going to quickly just put in the webs according to what's here. Now, I could do a tutorial on how to actually create a truss according to mathematics, but essentially all I'll do, and I'll give you, how about I'll give you a quick demo after I've done this. Right, and I'm just basically using what's drawn in there. It could be wrong, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can get this. And here. Right, now what I need to do is I actually want to extend these so they hit that top cord of the truss here. So I'm pushing shift, uh, so spacebar first to select shift and then I'm left clicking on my mouse. Now I can go right click, go down to extend beams, and I can simply go to there, so hover over, and extend it all my beams to there. I've got to do the same on the other side, so here. Now this might be, you know, this is a custom kind of a truss, one that doesn't come out of the box. If it was a, a, a normal type of truss, a, or a girder truss or something like that, you'd obviously use the truss tool. Uh, so right click, extend beams, there. And now you can see I have my truss. Now, if I, obviously, if I want to flip, when I use the beam tool, I would have flipped it. And I'm just going to show you how to mitre these corners here. So, space bar, select with shift, right click, uh, beams, and mitre beams. And you'll notice it mitered that corner for me as well. You can do the same across the whole lot. You could go and put in, you know, um, gang nail plates and things like that if you wanted to. You could just use the rectangle tool inside of SketchUp. Uh, and you could uh, use the BIM tool to actually call that a gang nail plate. And you can type in the size. I'm going to just type in gang nail. Right, and you can put in a price if you wanted to and everything else, submit. For more information on the BIM tool, go up to here and go submit. And obviously you'd probably go and do that on all of them, but for the point of the exercise, repetition isn't going to help you move forwards. Actually doing it yourself is. So, so now I've selected all, I use my space bar uh, you notice that it's like there, but I don't actually want that. So if I push shift and then hold my left button down and hover over it, everything I selected inside of uh, that little rectangle that came up there is actually uh, what I need to do. And now if I go right click, I could make it a group, make group. And if I actually wanted to quantify this truss by itself, I could use the BIM component just as I did with the, the gang nail there and I could do it and obviously 
we want to quantify this as well. So it's a good idea to do this, do your takeoff, and then basically um, you, could, you can then uh, quantify it as you go. Look, it's a good idea to test this kind of stuff, guys. Now I have a vertical truss sitting up there, and if I wanted to have an array of those trusses, I could go in here and go move, control, and you notice I'm on an axis there, green axis. You can lock your axes by pushing the left button or the right button on red. Okay, left, green. And type in the distance, 600, enter. And now I'm gonna go times five, say, all right. Or I could also divide it by a distance. It's called an array. All right, and then basically, if I just want to um, do an estimate on one truss, right click, take off selection. And you'll notice that I have framing here and inside of here is gonna give me the length of all of the lumber that's inside of there now. And if I went back and used the BIM tool, I could just quantify the truss. So I uh, hope it helps you out guys. If you uh, need any more information, ask below in the uh, comment section. Uh, if not, um, like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, push dislike, but tell us why so we can improve. All right guys, cheers.